everybody and welcome back to Do It Girl. So in my family, the Petito ladies love celebrity and entertainment news. And my mom, every single Christmas, will give my sister an annual subscription to People Magazine. And she'll even mail me her People Magazines when she's done reading a bunch. Needless to say, I've got a lot of extra magazines lying around just dying to be used for a DIY. So get ready because this week I'm going to show you how to make your own upcycled magazine picture frame. Let's do it, girl. For this project, you're going to need magazine paper, a cutting tool and cutting mat, scissors, a ruler, a skewer, craft glue, and of course, a picture frame. I got this at a craft store on clearance for less than $2. All right, let's dive in. There's no time to waste. Get it? Because I'm going to be upcycling magazine paper and therefore saving it from becoming waste? <gasps> Uh, just a little environmental humor for you there. Step one, flip through your magazines and find eye-poppingly bright colors. You can select different shades of the same color, like from dark red to light red, or you can look for something as simple as white pages with black text. Just to save time, I'll be choosing my pages willy-nilly, so mine will sort of look like a retro rainbow by the time I'm done with it. Step two, the next step is to cut your paper into even strips. Now there are two things to keep in mind here. The first is the width of your paper strip, which is going to coincide with the width of your frame border. Mine is exactly one inch, so I'll give myself a little extra to work with by cutting out an inch and a quarter strip of my paper. The next important thing is the length, which is going to determine how thick your paper rolls are going to be. After some experimenting, I found the perfect rolling length to be two inches. Cut out about 10 magazine pages worth and you should have more than enough strips for the next step, which is to get a roll in. Working one strip at a time, wrap your paper around your skewer. Work slowly here, otherwise the paper will wrap unevenly and you're going have to start all over. This lopsided look could also occur if you didn't cut your paper evenly, so really try your best to be precise. When you've reached the end, go ahead and dab a little bit of glue on your paper in order to keep your roll locked into place. And there we go, one mini roll down, several to go. Speaking of rolling, I think it's about time that we rolled out a montage. Ta-da, we now have fun colors to work with. All that's left to do is to glue them to your frame. Sort out your mini rolls until you're satisfied with their color and pattern. Then, using your craft glue, attach your rolls one at a time, side by side, around your frame. Let's rock and roll. When finished, let the glue dry. Now you'll see that I made my strips a little bit longer so that I knew for sure they would cover the frame's border. And I'm kind of digging this funky look, but they are kind of hanging out all over the place. To finish your frame, go ahead and cut off the excess material around its border with your scissors for a clean, polished look. Speaking of polish, a final optional step is to apply a coat or two of Mod Podge or varnish over your paper. This will keep it waterproof, sunlight proof, and just overall damage proof. At least the best you can with paper. And there we have it, our upcycled magazine frame. Now I used a picture frame, but really let your creativity run wild here. What else can you attach these fun mini rolls to? Maybe a binder or a book cover. Or you can attach them to a cardboard cutout and make a coaster. Or you can put a magnet behind it and then make it a locker decoration. The possibilities just keep coming. No seriously, I'm expecting another People magazine bundle any day now. So they're literally just coming. In what way did you upcycle your magazines? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All right, so here's the part where I try to answer all of your questions preemptively. Do you need to use magazine paper? No, but you definitely should be using a glossy paper because it's the glossy texture that's really going to make your color stand out. Can you use a pencil or something other than a skewer? Definitely, but just know that the thicker your tool is, the thicker your rolls are going to be. How expensive is this and how long does it take? Well, I had all the tools, so it cost me nothing, but if you wanted to grab some skewers, some glue, and maybe some magazines, I would say this craft would be under $10. And it took me about three hours to complete. Good luck. Now you'll see that I made these strips a little bit longer so that I knew for sure that they would cover the width of those, of the, of the, I gotta get a dictionary. <laughs>